Welcome to another episode of Peers Over Beers, your favorite digital and social evangelist podcast with your industry veteran hosts, Michael Sandoval and Chris Tetzel. This podcast starts now. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Peers Over Beers. My name is Michael Sandoval. And I'm Chris Detzel. Hello, Chris. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, man. How about you? Oh, you know, I'm doing well. Um, I think we probably say the same thing every time, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because generally if I said I'm I'm having a really bad day, <laughs> I wouldn't say it on the podcast. <laughs> you would be like, I'm doing great, Chris, or I'm, I'm doing pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah, exactly correct. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, so everybody yeah. else can kind of barely made it. it to today's little meeting, but hey, whatever. I'm not going to yeah. get into my laugh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, uh, how are things going? You know, pretty good. Uh, I just had a uh, quarterly uh, meeting, and uh, you know, I I have a particular view of quarterly meetings, right? And I don't know if anyone else has it or how this works, but I am an advocate of not using a quarterly meeting or a review as a as an, as as what was it called like uh, to 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 um, solidify or to grade one's performance, right? Yeah, of course. When you reach a certain level, it's just about you know what went well, what didn't go well, what's your plan, what's your numbers, you know, what's the direction. And what's your plan to ameliorate whatever you're doing and then your status on your roadmap, right? So the very simple roadmap, numbers, assessment, right? Pretty simple. Yeah. And that should be a small portion because I want to have the benefit of a larger discussion hmm. and create an environment in which you can have very open, non-judgmental um, uh, conversation about hey help this is my opportunity for me for you to help me as peers right where you know this is how i see things where do you think and i like your opinion you know that kind of stuff so these discussions are with your peers then yeah they're my peers yeah peers and, and uh, clearly my the ceo right yeah yeah and our structure was uh, it, it was there's so there's uh within my organization my peers there's oh i'm gonna test seven i think seven of my peers uh and this is including the CFO and it was for like an hour and a half. And if you do the math at best, each of us is getting 10 minutes. Yeah. That's five minutes of discussion. Right. No, (laughs) that's not. And you know, once I put slide one up, I'm already starting to chatter. Right. So it was very good. I used a little tool to keep me on time, but it, there wasn't, there wasn't any time for discussion. There weren't time for questions. They were pretty much sent to me, and uh, I just, you know, it was more of an update, and that's okay. You know, I made my comments known about how I think we should restructure. But I, don't know, I mean, I'm sure you've done other quarterlies, but I'm, I'm just a huge advocate of having very introspective discussions, and I think that kind of goes up and down the chain. I, 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 maybe, maybe entry level, it is kind of like, so what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, for me, it's changing because when I was at Imperva. Um, you know, I was just part of the, I had a one-on-one with my boss and I was just part of the regular org and they give updates and whatever. And I'd beg for some time for community, you know, to talk about community or I had to always ask, uh, to present my information. So here I was begging. It's a little different now because I'm at a higher level. Uh, and, um, you know, my boss reports directly to the CEO. And so, and he has eight or nine direct reports. From what I can tell, it looks like we'll be doing like updates every week. So we'll meet the team. will meet once every week, every week for about an hour and a half. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And you know they'll go through specific issues where you know kind of where are you, where are you at in your roadmap, and really uh, there's this other thing. Um, it's called Rock, and Rock is um, a, a C level conversation with CEO and staff and they bring people in. Is it an from acronym? Different, yeah, for RELTO operating committee or something like that. Oh, or, okay, 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 got it, got it. You know, so the CEO gets a view of what's going on within the organization and he can kind of speed up uh, in, uh, some of these initiatives or slow down certain initiatives or 
those kinds of things. And they can make decisions, you know, right off the spot every week. And that's a three hour conversation. But what they do is they bring in people like me and I might get 15 or 20 minutes with three or four slides and it has to be bulleted, you know, it has to be specific. So I go in there and say my shit if I even get a chance, but I'll send my slides in a week before or two days before three. So everybody can look at it and everything else. I've done this before when I was at Imperva. The first year I was there with uh, with Chris uh, Highland. He's the CEO. So so to go backwards a little bit, uh, we're going to be doing some of that within our, our customer success organization so that we can at any given time go to Rock, if that makes sense, and present our stuff like that and be on point and be you know where the organization needs to be on, on that kind of stuff. So... So it's I your rock, but I find that fascinating. Yeah, I like call it rock. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it means. I I'm still learning, to be honest. And and I was like, okay, and the way the format that they want it is a little different than. I'm not used to being, I guess you could say, at this high level, you know, for that long. Um, and so it'll be learning. For me, it's like I'm just gonna go get shit done. You know what I mean? But it's not like it's still like that. But it's now presenting that information out always to those executive leaders. Yeah. And I, and as a tip for some of our listeners, I think in my personal opinion, and I would curious how others feel, but it, I really do think that from, you know, from my, my previous time in other companies, it really is just about analytics, your numbers, your dashboard, really yes. dashboard roadmap. Yes. Next steps. It is just really simple. And Anything more than that, you're just getting into the details. Like uh, they don't want to know the like, details. They don't want to know that. Yeah, no. At, cer- you know, at a certain level, you're absolutely right. You know, like, I'm building like, some banners to put on these sites, and I'm doing, you know, <laughs> creating content and and getting some blogs ready. And they don't give a shit about that. No, they don't. And the other thing is on uh, dashboards, right? So in my peers, right? I'm, I'm, you know, clearly because when somebody says, show some, make sure you have numbers, like. Some folks took that literally, like, here's the numbers. I really don't know. I just pulled some graphs, put them in the air, and like, Meh, you know, <laughs> and it looks good because I used uh, cyan versus the out of the box blue, and it's and and I'm one of those individuals that starts asking a lot of questions, as you know, right? Well, well what does that number mean? And what's what's your outcome? And what's the thing that you're going to drive to make that go up? And you know, like, well. Uh, I kind of don't know. And just, to, just to give you context, right? I, I had Would somebody you run that for that. To yeah. that mean, seriously, this is where I go into like, oh my god, you're killing me. Anyway, this is not meant as a bitch session, but yeah. uh, that's just fresh in my mind. And I thought, well, hey, would it be a good discussion? As I want, I would love to to send to others. I think it would really help the 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 world of presentations and the world of updates. If you just really concentrated on three things, and then the rest just becomes detail. Um, your dashboard, what's your roadmap, and next steps. Yeah, but like, I mean, I think that's a leadership thing, right? Like your boss, CEO, whatever, should be driving that, right? If he wants those kinds of things, then he should yeah. do that. Yeah, you yeah, know, to, that's to kind the of leadership. A thing. Yeah, exactly correct. Um, but and you then know, everybody else about... falls in line, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. That is absolutely true. Um, I start talking like, like our company. It's funny because my boss said today or yesterday, he goes, wow, I'm starting to talk like uh, our CEO. Because this is great. You know, and well, you emulate, right? You have to, I mean, because that's what he wants. And so that's what you're going to have to provide and, and, and do. And so I think from, from your level, it has to come from there and maybe it does. Yeah, no. And so that's what I, so for example, like what I did is, um, because it's brand new. So the other thing too, I'm also, you know, part of my value is to create, you know, I've, I have been, um, um, I've been very lucky to, you know, work with some great people and they have helped me in my career to get to where I thought, where I am. And, and so I take that knowledge and kind of bring it to this organization and, and, and note that they haven't had that same experience. So I'm kind of, I'm able to, you know, push down um, this philosophy, right? And they've never had to think about it. So it's I a knew tough that. philosophy for sure. Yeah. So starting in like uh, end of November, first of December, I said, "Here's the thing I'm going to ask. Here are the things that I need your that I need your help on. 
and uh, and it's going to take you some time because this is brand new. You're not used to at a very kind of at some level. Some of these folks are operational. You're used to looking at operational metrics, and I uh, and, and instead of driving a behavior, right? Yeah. So you, you know it's and it and I can tell for one individual in particular, uh, it was new, but she wasn't poo pooing it either. She was, uh, I think she was really taking it as like, okay, this is for me to grow. This is so how this I is do. your staff that you're talking about. My staff, you're right, driving right, right. this mm-hmm. too. Okay, yeah, right. my directors, right. And to give you an A, the directors, and at that, at some level, at the fact that at the director level, they haven't been asked this. So this is like a, all right, let me, let's work through it, man. This is the first time. All right, let's give it a go. This is how. Well, yeah, to do that me too. I mean, like, you know, there's, I, I didn't know how, I was like a roadmap. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy that somewhere like on Amazon? <laughs> Can you just copy and paste me one and, Whatever, but you know what helped me. Uh, whenever you uh, kind of put it into, uh, you put it very easy for me. Okay, Chris, you know, uh, and I think you saw that I was struggling with it. Is let's look at it this way. Let's get on the board. And what we did was put stickies out, right? And we said, what are things we have to accomplish next year, and what do we want to do? So we get, we had accomplished these things. All right, just write it down, put it on the board. Write it down, put it on the board. Write it down, put it on the board. You know, and then and then we just put stickies everywhere on the window. And then, yeah, it's the, the, the uh, okay. I'm sorry, go on. Yeah, K- yeah. And then, and then, you know, we kind of drew out Q1, Q2, Q3, yeah, yeah. Q4. Yeah. It's yeah. like, okay, what's the most important thing we have to do, Chris? Um, and I was like, I don't know, we need to do this. We need to, you know, write some content specifically for Germany, you know, and okay, content creation for German, you know, uh, uh, community. Perfect. Put that on Q1 and then that kind of stuff. And so I think. You simplified it for me, and that that resonated, and it still resonates today. So what I'll do is just write down a bunch of stuff, which you know, when you build an online new online community, it's almost some of the same stuff. So that's positive <laughs> in a way. Yeah, well, it you is know? always a it's always a roadmap. The only caution I give is to not fall in the same uh, mistake I did. Right, I I made a I, it's it's one of those learning things uh, because it can be a bit cookie cutter. That you can say, oh, I just take A and put A in B and then success, right? Kind of that's, you know, step one, plan. Step three, success, right? And we forget step two. And so the, the, for my learning, which was I went too much into the it looks a lot like and smells like this. I'm just going to apply that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and and I'll be very concrete. You know, it was at, it was at Rexel. And I took a, uh, you know, my, my past had been in, you know, semiconductor support modeling, very similar to what you're, you know, what you're doing. And I looked at some of the data from customers and see that for certain aspects, they can be very much the same. And I applied it. And it didn't work at the beginning. And that's why when I think we were coming in, we were in Germany and kind of yeah. – and I had even told you, I said, listen, we're just – it's just not growing in the United States. I think when you first came in and you had some thoughts and ideas, I said, you know what? Let's give it a go You know, because I'm kind of – I've I've already walked like, I need that. some ideas. I don't know. Yeah. Right? But hey, I, I think there's a new way to do it. Let's go to Germany and here's the way that I can tweak it. Now, with that being said, the, the two things that I've learned from that experience was one, I did not um, – I broke my own rule, which was what is what what do your um, customers want? And for us, what they really wanted for a good swath of that was just to get product into their hand, right? Mm. And so, therefore, kind of understanding how to use the product was for a different type of individuals, right? So the automation side of the house where, where that was coming in. And then two was the age. Uh, I did not have the data that for electricians, they were like middle, like 50, mid, mid 50s, right? Average age. Yeah. This is not their medium. <laughs> you mean communities? Communities, yeah. Yeah. But it is for like mid 30s, right? Yeah. So anyway, long kind of treatise to kind of describe how. So, so would you have to say like if you were to go back, you wouldn't build those communities there? 
not the way that I had described them. I think if I were to redo it, I would, um, I think uh, the beginning was I focused very much on the entire electrical sector. Mm. I think I would focus it just on automation. Got it. For example. Yeah, that started to do fairly well in Germany, in a sense. Mm-hmm. You know, at least some of the Google started picking it up in Germany, right? So yeah, so in Germany it's different because they were in Europe overall. Yeah, they were so ahead on making automation go even into the electrical industry. Mm-hmm. So, for example, this is the KNX stuff. If you remember, yeah, I do. Uh, in the United States, that doesn't even exist. Partly because at an infrastructure level and a federal level, that's not an incentive. Yeah. Where in the States, I mean, in Europe it is. So a lot of these electricians all of a sudden had to like, oh, hell, I got to, I don't know anything about this open well, standard. <laughs> let's just say, just as of recent, just so you know, um, the grid or our community in all, all three countries, two of the countries just went away probably eight, 12 months ago, but then, French one just they didn't looks like they didn't renew that contract. So we don't have any resemblance of any kind of community that we built now. It's now gone. So now yeah, it's a shame. And, and I knew that was going to probably happen par- partly because, um, well, the, <laughs> at a the basics level, the CEO was had a different view on e commerce, right? Um, and just to kind of give some context, he used to work for Kodak, so we know how that went. Um, exactly. <laughs> so we'll see how that kind of goes over time, and <laughs> and um, and I'm serious. Yeah, and, you know, and, and to um, uh, the core comp, there was no one has the core competency, right? They pretty much just, I mean, it, it, get rid of all of us. Uh, yeah, all get rid of so. everybody. Yeah, so so. So that's the uh, the challenge there. But you know what? You know what? These are the things. Uh, you know, I look back at that. That's that's an amazing experience. It was a great experience for I've me. I've done that, right? I mean. Because you have to have, and I wouldn't call it a failure. I think it's just more of, it's just, it's a good kind of slap. Like ah, got it. It launched my career, my friend. Like it was not. <laughs> a f- <laughs> well, something good came out of it then. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Rexel was a great job for me, you know, not just because of all the building that we did. It wasn't just communities, man. We built, you know, a bizarre voice ratings and review system in like mm-hmm. eight, seven countries and different seven, eight sites, right? Nine, I don't know. Uh, then we built, so think about implementation, think about the marketing strategy, the, mar- uh, the, the relationships we had to build to do that, and then live chat, you know, and like, 10 or 12 countries and 12 oh, sites yeah, yeah. So, whatever, yeah. you know? I mean, that was a rough go at first, but then live chat took off, you know? Uh, and ratings and reviews to some degree uh, did pretty well, you know, on the sites. But mm-hmm. those are the two things that, I mean, we, we did way more than just communities, you know? Oh, yeah, was, no, yeah, yeah, I, 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 as I much as we accomplished that. in three years, yeah, no, absolutely. I was there. To make sure that we have to kind of keep that in a in a little box, if that makes sense, right? Yeah, I, I mean, think it was making it more of. A, you're absolutely correct, 100. percent And telling the story is such more a of short a, time. Yep, and telling the story is more about as you look into what you're going to go do, right? Yeah. And now you've, uh, in a sense, greenfielded now two communities, right? So this is going to be your third. Um, well, yes, be- yes and no. I, I kind of look at it as French being one community greenfielded, the German community being greenfielded, and then. Also, which I didn't necessarily greenfield the, uh, um, you know, the U.S., but I mean, there's nobody really on it when I got there anyways, right? You guys built it from scratch, and then we started. I kind of see that as three different kind of communities, because think about German community. We had to get German content. We had to get the German language. We had to do all kinds of stuff before we could even cite, et cetera, you know? Right. Um I guess it's more of a chapters would be the best way to say it, maybe. Fair enough. Um, as long as you just keep conscious of making sure you really do my uh, my was it called my uh, the thing that I asked is making sure you and now that I've learned to myself, it's all about the people coming to the community. What do they want? What's their core thing? What's going to make them happy? What are they going to want from you? 
if you keep that front of mind, then the rest will just will fall easily. That's a good point, and it was good kind of learning. And mm. that, that's a. Uh, I, I don't think we fell at it, you know. Like it just. Did, no, no, it, that's why I hate to use that word because I think I just use it because I've had a lot of great successes. Yeah. I've also had ones where I wouldn't call them fails, but like it would be better if if I already use that. Yeah, term. I mean, okay, fair enough. It did fail, by the way. You know, the, all three communities that were there are no longer there. So if you want to see that as a failure, but what we built was really cool. <laughs> and what we learned was. <laughs> did. I mean, like that's that's just the way it is, you know. I mean, <laughs> the 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 if you think about the U.S. one or North America, that really failed. You know, we, you know, it, it had more to do with there's no specific buy-in within those countries. And oh yeah, there's so there's a lot of uh, other things that are around it that uh, yeah, it just made it difficult. But that's interesting because this was spurred the whole podcast at the same time, right? Which was. Yeah. You know, these are learnings that we want to make sure others have because uh, these things are not necessarily too easy. No. As they say. No. <laughs> yeah. I remember saying, uh, and I know we have to get going, but I remember saying at that time, I go, you know, tech communities would be so much easier to build, you know, because they have a problem. And you have, to, and electricians, it's not that there's not, you know, communities out there. There is actually a few that do really well. But, you know, that organization was different. It was like 70 years old, 60 mm -hmm. years old. And they were so, what do, you, what do you call it? You know, they're dispersed and just not always working together. And so it was, it was fun, but it was, it was kind of crazy. But, you know, looking back now, none of it's easy, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> so right. it doesn't no, matter what you, where you go. No community is easy to build, in my opinion, and in my experience. No, so. I, I, and I, that's what, that's what, uh, that's what we get paid to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why they pay us to 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 go out there and, and and run those communities, you know. So, so you know, two things I've learned today, or not, or not learned. So I'm just saying out what they are. One is in a review, please bring in a dashboard, your roadmap, and next steps. And two, when build just in as we build every community from chapter A to chapter B, if as long as we keep thinking about the individuals coming in, their customers, you'll be just fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, my friend, once again, always a damn pleasure to talk with you. Uh, thank you for another episode of uh, Peers Over Beers. My name is Michael Sandoval. And I'm Chris Detzel. All right, thank you, Chris. Talk to you later. All right.